guys and welcome back to my channel we're gonna be watching some god of high school today and yes we left off kind of in an icky situation we had um day i think that's how you pronounce his name and was it mita mita kind of like fighting uh mita was supposed to get married but the dude that she was marrying actually had uh, sliced her with his sword so that was like an open wound and then she went to go fight day and then day kept on just hitting this one particular spot and then of course she's out of the freaking tournament now with that it was kind of a sore spot because they just had this big fiasco of him and morty you know saving her from her wedding and then some of the the three um three of them were hella tight and there's like this bond was creating and then day went back to the hospital to see that his friend was um in a, in a bad situation where he was tiptoeing on um the line of life and death all right we already know his friend is very sick and we also see that he's willing to do anything to make sure his friend is better or gets better now the thing is with that is at the cost of damaging the three of them's um, friendship or whatever you want to call it that they're building with one another it makes this a very very icky situation at least for me it does because it's like I don't know it just everything just ended off fine and then we have them fighting and it's just it's just like it made me feel very uncomfortable so yeah we had that going um, I really think that Modi is some type of way connected to Mira with this special sword style. Maybe she's probably going to teach him eventually the sword style. And then we also have, um, you know, the tournament continuing. And then it's going to be Modi going against Day. That's how I, I think this. No, 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 no. Modi has to go against that one dude. We haven't seen them two fight. So more than likely, it's going to be them two. And then we'll see how that that fight is probably going to end up but since day beat mira he's definitely going further and i mean it's going to be probably ultimately morty going against him anyways but i know we saw to see a fight between morty and old dude so yeah i know a couple of you guys were saying that the pacing was kind of bad um, seems like they're rushing a few things, which you can see a, a slight bit of how the characters are kind of like growing exponentially fast. And it's like we're kind of left to just assume or understand the relationships and bonds that these people are having on the side. So I do see what you're saying there. They said it's more fluff or more of um, a detailed um, explanation on these things on the situations between each character which I, I probably would have enjoyed that to be shown in the anime a little bit better but i'm just gonna wait or hold off reading the manhwa until after the season is over so yeah i'm gonna stop talking so let's just go ahead and jump on into the god of high school let's go <laughs> fighting was that his friend they looked ugh. Oh, I hate when they don't explain stuff. You know, he's touching the toilet. Ooh, especially a boy's toilet. Blood is on your hands. Oh, sort of the similar situations. I kind of understand it a little bit. Like, he had to fight his friend. And then, you know... Well, well I forget. Song, I, I'm not going to try to remember his name. And then he has to go... Then he... He fought Mita. I get it. Bjorn. Mori's definitely going to beat. I'm not like worried about this fight at all. Dang! Like I said, I wasn't expecting anything else than that. Is he done already? Literally two seconds and that was it. I already figured as much. And I bet you Morty's gonna have a bone to pick with Day. Yeah, she should have went there first. Oh, okay. 
Exactly. It made me kind of icky. Oh, she's so understanding. Oh, he's really trying to help his friend. I admire that, but I just feel like there's a, there's a way you go about doing things, especially when it comes to people that you're close to, or at least supposed to, supposedly close to. Mujin is like, just wanting to see what all Mori can do. Oh, snap! I don't think they could keep up with Mori at all. Oh, shit! His head! Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Are they fighting full out, though? Hell, is Morty fighting full out? Ooh, nice dodge. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, he, he's going back to when he was fighting Mira. The fast kicks again. Well... What was the damage on that? Hmm? <gasps> oh, darn it. So he don't think of them. <sighs> then why would you go to her wedding? Black tortoise. Is she nosy? Oh, she stumbled upon him. He died? Oh my gosh, I don't like this. Does he not know? He does not know. Because he's fighting. Were they keeping him alive this whole time? Dang, he was fucking him up. Oh, he said he's, he's still warming up, so this fucking man is... Okay. Do the dragon. He canceled it? Oh, shit, no, he did not. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. Damn. Is they gonna win? But if he wins, it's gonna be no point. Yo, why would he tell him that just now? Why not wait till after the fucking fight's over? That's is he trying to like bait him? He was a bully? Yo, he helped him from getting jumped. But then what would cause them to fight each other? Yo, my heart hurt. So was was that dude his only friend then? Since he didn't think of anybody else's friends? And he was willing to do all this to um to make sure he lives? To prove how loyal he is to him, maybe? He can't even fight right because his mind is probably cluttered. See, like, he doesn't even want to move anymore.
Is he a... Oh my god, just like his friend. He's trying to tell him to trust in him. <laughs> Yeah, even though you kicked her ass, she's still rooting for you. <laughs> He's so childish. <laughs> Penalty yellow card. <sighs> wow. He was a good friend. <laughs> so are they actually taking hits or are they it's like they're nullifying each other's hits? Oof. That look it has to hurt. Oh, he, he got him. Original. What? Where did all that come from, Morty? I've, we have two tiger codes, huh? Whoa, oh, shit. See, I feel as if Morty was holding back. <laughs> Don't say we'll be friends because I'll freaking lose it. I swear. So that's all souls got. Didn't we see him before? He was with, um, his name Kang. Oh, I hate that. All right, you guys. So that was the conclusion of this fight. I didn't think it'll get that emotional. I thought maybe it'd just be like an end of a friendship between, um, M Modi and they. So it's like, for them to end it to where Day's friend dies and then the letter and then him, you know, hearing his words as he's fighting Modi and then we have Nita come in. It was just like a whole bunch of feels kind of like shoved into a moment and it kind of like, it, it can't not make you feel some type of way. And, um, I really appreciated how they gave us more of a story between Day and his friend. What was his name? Sung Day? Or Su? No. I forget his I'm so mad. I'm so mad at myself for forgetting his name. But, yeah. We got a little bit more story on about him. And it's like his friend was more of a, a light-hearted and cheerful person. While Day was, like, by himself. Where he kind of just had people around him but didn't really have any genuine friendships. So even though he lost him, so even though he lost him, he gained two new friends. Those who have lost somebody to an illness. It really hurts when they leave, especially when they're like a good positive force in your life. I'm just reflecting on my I lost my I lost my god sister. <sighs> To an illness so when you lose somebody like that that's you're very very close to and it's like you just want them to live and get better and thrive 
and then you see that they're gone and you would fight and do anything in your power to have them be there with you it, it, it hits differently all right so modi ended up winning i kind of figured modi uh would probably be a little bit stronger due to the fact that he ate this forbidden fruit uh, this this forbidden but peach in a sense and it seems as if Mujin Park is just trying to evaluate him and then in a sense he saw that they and Mori both are strong people but then we had like the end with a dude with the long hair and We've seen him before. I think he was talking to Kang earlier on in the series. And he was like, is this all Soul has to offer? So apparently he's probably, I'm going to say he's part of the cult. And maybe Mujin Park isn't a part of the cult. And he's just kind of like, he knows stuff in the background or whatever i don't know but i think we just don't have that many pieces i think everything's just focused on mita and day and mori coming together and building their friendship through this fight now with mori winning this uh fight here i wonder is it going to be another stage from diff uh another stage that he has to fight upon and with new people <laughs> And maybe they and Mira might have to train him. So maybe she will actually pass down um, uh, her sword style to, or at least train him in her sword style. Um, talking about Modi in a sense. So hopefully that's the case. So yeah, I kind of wonder what the heck uh, is is Modi's wish like is he just wanting to fight is he gonna ask for anything I know he said he wanted to fight the blonde headed dude but it's like what do you actually want out of this for real for real but I guess he'll probably figure that out along the way or maybe he has known it or he knows what it is and we just don't know because we're just watchers of the show so yeah I'm sorry guys I'm a big fat cry baby and you guys know this already I'll try to do better in keeping my stuff in check. <laughs> but it was just very sad. And just seeing his friend, like, he's going through all the memories of him. And then, like, you just lose him and in the middle of a fight. Somebody comes and tells you something like that. That's kind of, like, sucky. Like, why not just wait to the end of the match? Like, but then again, Mujin Park likes to throw curveballs. And it's like he's testing people. So maybe he's trying to test them and see what these guys are actually capable of. I don't know. But I just felt it was wrong, bad timing. But it, it seems though, I can't on the flip side, that it did help him snap back and to see what um, is actually important at the moment. Like his friend is no longer here, but uh, he has two people that he can actually lean on at the moment. So yeah. I'm not going to keep talking before I start crying again. And thank you guys for watching this reaction. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>